Yeah, some interesting conditions out there, but uh, the sixth inning kind of helped things out when you guys got things going with the bats. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, it, we talked about it before the game. You know, it was it was tough conditions. I mean, the cold and the wind and the snow. And um, I think you just got to have uh, a mindset of going out there and try to find a way to compete the best that you can. Uh, you know, we gave up the home run in the first inning uh, similarly a couple days ago, but we hung in there. Doge got us going again, and then we put together a nice inning with some big hits. And, uh, uh, you know, the bullpen did a really nice job, especially Hildy coming in there and, and, and picking us up. But uh, it's a good good game to win. You know, you, you end up having a winning road trip to start the season, and, uh, you know, everyone will be anxious to get back home, and at least we'll be used to the condition somewhat, and, and we'll get back at it tomorrow. Sano scored his run yeah. from first base. It looked like he either didn't see Gene Glenn or he looked he looked well, into right field. What was your view of that? We had some interesting things happen to our team out there. Um, you know, it's uh, it's something that you know the guys know they should do, but conditions and emotion and everything else kind of plays into it. Um, I think I think Miggy didn't think he was going to have a chance to score. Um, Kind of slowed down a little bit, and then I, I think when he got to third, he, he he it looked to me like he looked out towards the play and realized he might have a chance, and and kind of eliminated Gino from the play. At least that was my take that he just took a chance to score. So um, was it wasn't textbook by any means, but but he played the run, and it was a big run. So nice to see Morrison come through with this first hit in that situation. Yeah, I, I think he he feels pretty good about it. I don't. You know, think he was putting too much pressure on himself. It's 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 early and all those type of things. But I, I'm sure to get the first one is a little bit of a relief for him. And uh, yeah, so you know, I, I think when you when you play in these games, you just you know obviously try to win. And, and for guys individually, hopefully they don't get too consumed because it's tough. It's tough tough conditions to hit in for sure. Well, tinnitus seems to be gone too. Uh... It was a big play. Uh, you know, we had kind of pressed our outfield in a little bit there, try to give ourselves a chance, and um, although the, the ball wasn't hit particularly crisply, the, the direction was good, and, and he had a straight charge towards the plate, and he kept it on line, something that we didn't see as much of last year as we maybe had in the past with that throw tailing up, but he kept that one right on the mark, and we were able to get off the field. You know, we made a good pitch on, uh, on there by Raj, and, and uh, he just kind of fought it out there to left field, but we got the play. And that pop-up he hit, just I'm sure maybe the wind might have blown well, it back. Yeah, he, yeah, have yeah you know, it's, it's more like I said, it, it's, I, I felt like I needed to say something even though I know he knows. You know, you, you just can't make assumptions like that. You, you, know, you know the conditions. I'm sure he's frustrated. He's trying to get the runner over there with man in second and nobody out, and you pop it up, and he's hit a few of those. And the frustration got the better of his judgment there. Dozier is something of a slow starter in years past. Yeah. Uh, not, not so much his first week. Uh, different well, I, different I, Brian Dozier? I, I don't know if it's a different Brian Dozier. I just think that, you know, for whatever reason, some of his starts haven't, you know, matched up with the second halves that he's been able to put together. But, you know, the, the power's been there here early for us through the first five games. Did you feel like at any point it was close to the umpires stopping play, just when it starts going hard? No, I I mean, there was a couple, uh, you know, squalls, if you will, that popped up. And then in the ninth inning there, it got probably as hard as it had the whole game. And if you looked up, I mean, I've been in the outfield when, it, when it's snowing like that, and it's it's becomes challenging to catch catch the fly balls. But I, I didn't think that we were close. I think they were going to try to finish it out. Did you see Rodney try to eat the snow? <laughs> I don't, no, doesn't surprise me. No, so it was good good to see him in the game. Are you surprised that Taylor Rogers shows up without sleeves? Uh, I, I think some people maybe don't like the feel of, of, of wearing that extra layer and, and so he, he just might be one of those guys.